Overdetection is the diagnosis and treatment of a cancer lesion that's been detected through screening that would otherwise never have caused any symptoms in that person's lifetime. Not every cancer progresses uh, very quickly. Some cancers progress very slowly or maybe not even progress at all. And it may take a very long time before symptoms start to develop and the person might die from other causes before symptoms occur. So overdetection is the most serious harm of screening because it labels patients unnecessarily as cancer patients. It leads to unnecessary testing, but most importantly to unnecessary treatment with all the harms and consequences that go with that. The problem of overdetection is heavily debated among healthcare professionals, but there's very little knowledge about how the general public feel about overdetection and how much overdetection people are willing to accept when they decide to participate in cancer screening. So this study was an online survey in adults living in the UK and we asked people about breast cancer screening, prostate cancer screening and bowel cancer screening. And we described the uh, treatments for each of these cancers and the adverse effects of that treatment. And then we presented a hypothetical population of 1000 people going to screening. 50 people will be diagnosed with cancer. 10 people will die from cancer and screening will result in one person not dying from cancer. Secondly, we presented a second scenario where five people would not die from cancer as a result of screening. In total, 1,000 respondents completed the survey. They were on average 47 years old and 51% were women. Less than 10% had been diagnosed with cancer before and 54% had previously participated in cancer screening. Less than 30% or 29% had heard of overdetection before and a lot of respondents expressed surprise at the existence of overdetection. So the main finding of our study is that there was very high variability between respondents about overdetection. Some people, up to 7%, did not want any overdetection at all, and other people, up to 14%, said that they would accept overdetection in everyone in order for one or five people to not die from cancer as a result of screening. Across the board, respondents accepted a median of 100 to 300 cases of overdetection for every 1,000 people undergoing screening. People accepted significantly more overdetection in the higher benefit scenarios. So when 50% mortality reduction from screening was achieved, they accepted more overdetection than in the scenario with 10% reduction. People aged 50 years or older accepted significantly less overdetection than younger people and women accepted more overdetection for breast cancer than for bowel cancer and similarly men accepted more overdetection in prostate cancer than in bowel cancer. We then looked in a bit more detail to people who expressed very high or very low levels of acceptance and people who said that they would accept 800 cases or more for every thousand persons screened, these people were more likely to have a chronic condition. On the other hand, people who said they would accept only 30 cases or less, these people were more likely to be aged 50 years or older and were less likely to have participated in cancer screening before. So in conclusion, we think that this study shows that people should be properly informed about overdetection, but also about the consequences of overdetection so that they can make a good informed choice about participating in cancer screening or not.